Hi everybody, it is Claire here coming to you today with some really junky nails that need a manicure, but I can't do it right now. And I was too excited to do that um, because there's something I wanted to show you like right now. So I'm not gonna sit around and fart around about it and make 20 things, here we go. I was at Walgreens today and I was picking up a something that I ordered for my husband and I stumbled across, I always go look in the pens. Do you go look in the pens? I do. My husband really likes um, those thick black uh, ink, paper mate ink joint gels, ink joy gels. And so whenever I'm there, I always see if they have them. But this is what I found today. This is a zebra durable stainless st durable stainless steel fountain pen number three series v01 black ink with a bonus refill i was like what i have never seen a fountain pen in any of the stores at all ever and all of a sudden it just i was just there looking and i saw this so I thought I would pick it up, bring it back home, and try it out and show you guys. So it says, the original 3 Series Fountain Pen, your entry-level experience, experience to the temperamental world of fountain pen writing. Same stainless steel barrel you've come to expect from the Zebra 3 Series. Insert refill until you heal the click, fill the click, here, fill up, whatever. Give a few shakes to start the ink flow. And it says, refillable with a V refill. Obviously, if you are a fountain pen nerd, you know that if you were to purchase this, you don't need to buy these refills after it's out. You can even just like suck the ink out now and like replace it with ink that you want. But um, you just wait until it's done, you clean it out and then you just refill it. So I thought that I would take this baby for a whirl cause I have not seen this on the tube at all yet. So here in Louisiana, it was four dollars and 49 cents so we are about to see how good this four dollar and 49 cent this is my little try things out paper it is rhodia dot pad i've had for a long time and so here we go i'm gonna try this out if this is a good i mean for me good okay good is relevant there are people who you know are using Visconti's and um, Mont Blancs and all these every single day of their life. And I'm sure that they would never say anything like this was good fountain pen. However, I'm not one of those people. And ooh, and um, so my budget for fountain pen is, is pretty, pretty small. But I saw this and I couldn't resist just trying it out. So first off, it's very light, very light. Um, you have the clip here, very, very sturdy clip. Um, down here, it says V, the V3 series 01 fountain pen. Maybe that means that later on, they will be adding new fountain pens to their series. Oh, okay, this is interesting. This is a hooded or slightly hooded nib. Let me see, am I, is that coming into focus? Look, look at that. I did not expect to see that. There you see the tines, it's a very fine point. And underneath, I've never seen one like that before either. Who knows? I'm not expecting a whole much from this fountain pen, understand. But I just saw it and I couldn't resist showing it to you guys seeing if it works. Now, I'm not the fountain pen person who's going to show you how long it is and measure and all this other stuff. Like, that's so not me. Hopefully, somebody else will come on with a, you know, a video that does all of the measurements and the whatever. That's just not me. So, but I will tell you, like, this grip is rubberized, but it's not like, like, not like a super rubbery gripped, gripped grip not like a super rubbery grip it's but it feels like it would be comfortable to write with for a while obviously it's not gorgeous looking this is a four dollar and something cent fountain pen but i am curious so the top obviously clicks on if i could do it right and 
so it feels just a really quick click on click off and to open this up a um, couple swirls and so let's try this out so it's v301 ink refill it looks like it's a little bit bigger than your standard international ink cartridge do i have one up here i don't think i have one up here right now but maybe i'm wrong so i'm gonna just shove it in here until i feel the click i can test oh, there ooh, that's a very prominent click and i'm gonna oh it's very hard this plastic like sometimes with um the international cartridges you can kind of get a little bit of a squeeze in there to help um flood the uh, feed but yeah that's not squeezing anything so i would just do what the instructions say and just try to give it a couple good shakes to what it does it obviously feels a little bit more substantial in my hand now that i have the uh, cartridge in there um give it a second Okay, I'm going to adjust this real quick. There we go. Um, it posts and it feels pretty sturdy on there. That's good. I like, I like to post my pens. So, um, I don't know, maybe I haven't let the ink get down into the feed so much yet. Get down in there, ink. Maybe you have to make music with it. That might help. Okay. Let's see. Oh, there's something. Okay. So this is a fine point. Uh, that could that could represent fountain pen or fine point i don't know but that looks like an extra fine point to me i don't know can you see i don't know what i guess that's like on the back of other fountain pens there's the the feed and the plastic part that comes up the feed and that one's just gray here if you look closely i don't well you see right above the feed you see that little whiteness kind of like a little booby there that's not whiteness it's actually ink so let's see how it goes what should I write um wow I'm on the spot let's see why do we think that um, Hermione uh oh her mind I just can't do that right now. Let's do I'm not doing that damn fox. The fat house cat jumped sorry up onto the there's some skipping window seal and uh oh no and oh i just tried to bend it a little bit like sometimes i'll do to um make the ink come out a little bit better i like my my pins kind of wet and it like bent it up really good so this is not a really great nib so the cat jumped up onto the windowsill and promptly come on now promptly <laughs> fell right this is not going well hmm. let me lick it real quick lick it. and it's still not going well okay I'm gonna let it sit for a bit longer I don't want to just give up on this thing right here because if it's halfway decent i mean not even half if it's if like a quarter of the way decent this would be a really great um 
think to, you know, in Walmart or Walgreens or whatever, just like I walked in and saw it, what a great way to introduce regular people who aren't in the fountain pen community already to fountain pens. And people go into Walgreens all the time to buy their, you know, favorite writing pens or whatever, and they happen to spy a fountain pen in there. Perhaps it would encourage them, oh man, perhaps it would encourage them to try out other fountain pens. Let's see, what would happen if this pen worked well I wonder if I've just got a dodgy nib or something I mean I'm not like zebra is not a brand that I especially you know I'm not a zebra person let's see a b c d e f g h Oh hell. Hmm. I don't know. I like I, I don't want to give up on it yet. I want this to be like a fair little video. Cause I was actually excited to see it in Walgreens. And I'm sure that would excite other people, you know, like to see a fountain pen at Walmart for under five dollars. I mean yeah, not everybody out there has, you know, knows you can go on Amazon and buy, okay, maybe it just needs different paper. I'm going to put my Rhodia away and I am going to come over here and grab my journal. And I'm currently journaling in an Archer and Olive A5 and um, I will be doing a review on this soon so oh yeah look at that that's what it needed it just needed just needed to be able to write okay I am going to turn the camera off for a minute and I'm gonna fudge around with this and see if I can't see what the problem is be right Okay, so I kind of tried to look at it. All right, do you see right there when I turn it, you can see like some gookity grit or whatever, right where the nib meets this thingy, like the under part of the feed. So I was like, maybe I can pry that out. I So I want to thank you so much for listening to that beautiful music. If you enjoyed it, it was by Mark. It was by Mark Mothersbaugh. Ba Mark Mothersbaugh. Mark Mothersbaugh, who uh, 
has done the music for some of the most amazing, lovely cartoons that we have all known and loved. My most favorite was Rugrats. Why am I talking about this right now when, you know, we're, we're watching a fountain pen video? Because I did a whole bunch of ranting and raving and I said some really bad words while I was trying to figure out how to work this thing and I stared at the pen and I stared at it quizzically and I told it, darn you, Ben, you stupid $4 pen. Why aren't you working? And it took forever. And I was like, let me just put my finger in there and I'll just fart around with it a little bit more. And I really, really, really wanted to get this pen to work. I tried everything, even brought back out the razor. And, you know, you see how it's going right now. So more music. So if you saw my little uh, showing of the gum thing there, I had a little one come in who was asking me for gum. I was sitting there showing them kind of what I was doing with the uh, fountain pens. And um, whenever they come in, it, I just kind of like to be a part with them. Here I'm so frustrated and I was like, oh, they really did find the, the right word up there. Um, the temperamental world of fountain pens but you know what I have never had this much trouble with a fountain pen ever 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 I've never had to take out tools that could cut my fingers off to try and get a fountain pen to work so I'm not going to give you the music anymore I know we don't like the music but we're almost there hang in there okay Tiny children have been thrown out of the bedroom with the utmost of care. Just kidding, I paid them off. So to make this thing work, I have had to use or try to use two different tools, a safety pen and an old Gillette Sharp Edge, which comes from my um, safety razor. When in fact, the actuality of it may just be that you need to set it upside down, perhaps, and let it sit for like 10 minutes to get that ink down into the feed. I don't know. Oh, it says it's made right here. It says it's made in China, but that's okay. I like things that are made in China. So here we go. I'm going to give this another try. There is a... Uh, plastic cap on the inside too, which I am supposing helps to uh, keep it from drying out. That's what all the other YouTuber pen, fountain pen people say. Um, and so let's try this again. And I'm going to try this again and pretend like the rest of the stuff never happened. Okay. Well, hold on. We're going to do the thing. Now back to here we go. So I'm currently reading this book. This is one of my very favorite books from when I was in middle school. Diana Wynne Jones is one of my favorite authors. So I'm reading back through the entire four volume, The Chronicles of Cresta Manchi. If you are a fan of Harry Potter, um, you should probably try to find these. Um, she started, she's got a, she's unbelievable. If you're a Studio Ghibli fan too. She's the one who wrote Howl's Moving Castle. Anyway, sorry. I'm going to choose a page here and I'm just going to try to write out a full sentence without it, um, without it stopping with one hand. One handed now. Okay. I'll choose a, an easy one. Okay, here we go. Christopher. I can't yeah. Christopher and the goddess. I apologize. I do not have pretty handwriting, but I am working on Spencerian penmanship. Watched from behind the marble balustrade. B-A-L- U-S-T 
or balustrade, 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 yeah, um, near the black door of Gabriel's, uh-oh, Gabriel's study. Hmm. I had to push down a little bit more on that one. Um, so writing, oh, okay, so it writes upside down. I wasn't anticipating on trying that. Some people find that interesting. I don't really know. So I guess if you, it only skips a little bit. Uh, so I really tried um, as hard as I could with this pen. Um, I read all the instructions, what exactly it told me to do. I took it apart, put it back together, and I attacked it with, you know, tools of doom. Yeah, I, I could have really hurt someone or myself uh, attacking this pen, trying to make it work, and I just couldn't make it work. I'm going to hold on to it, uh, try again another day, and if it works, then I will let you guys know. Otherwise, thanks for watching.